Good evening, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Sunday, July 28th. It's the seventh Sunday after Pentecost in week four in the psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 8, Romans chapter 12, verse 9 through 21. And a canticle from Jeremiah 31, verses 10 through 14. And join me now in singing the third verse of Now Thank We All Our God. Oh, praise and thanks to God, the Father now be given, the Son and Him who reigns with them in highest heaven, eternal triune God, whom earth and heaven adore, for thus it was, is now, and shall be evermore. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Together. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults, cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, O oh sovereign God, how excellent is your name in all the earth. Alleluia. Psalm 8, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, O Sovereign God, how excellent is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babies and sucklings, you have ordained strength, that you might still the enemy and the avenger. And when I consider your heavens, the work of your hands, the moon and the stars which you have ordained, what are we that you are mindful of us, the children of the earth that you visit them, for you have made us little lower than the angels, and have crowned us with glory and honor. You made us to have dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under our feet, all sheep and oxen and the beasts of the field, the fowl of the air and the fish of the sea, and whatsoever passes through the paths of the sea. O sovereign God, how excellent is your name in all the earth. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, O sovereign God, how excellent is your name in all the earth. Alleluia. A reading from Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 12, beginning at verse 9. Let love be genuine, hate what is evil, hold fast to what is good. Love one another with mutual affection, outdo one another in showing honor. Do not lag in zeal, be ardent in spirit and serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope and be patient in suffering and persevere in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints. Extend hospitality to strangers. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice and weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another and do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Do not claim to be wiser than you are and do not repay anyone evil for evil but take thought for what is noble in the sight of all. If it is possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. 
Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave room for the wrath of God. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. No, if your enemies are hungry, feed them. If they are thirsty, give them something to drink. For by doing this, you will heap burning coals on their heads. And do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Here ends the lesson. And now when the words our Savior taught us were bold to say, Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Alleluia! Hear the word of the Most High, O nations, and declare it in the coastlands far away. Alleluia! A canticle of the prophet Jeremiah. Please recite it with me. Alleluia, hear the word of the Most High, O nations, and declare it in the coastlands far away. Say, God that scattered Israel will gather them, and keep them as a shepherd keeps a flock. For the Most High has redeemed Jacob, Leah, and Rachel, and ransomed them from hands too strong. Therefore they shall come and sing in the height of Zion, and shall flow together to the goodness of God for wheat for wine and for oil, for the young of the flock and of the herd. And their lives shall be like a watered garden, and they shall not sorrow any more. Then the virgins shall rejoice in the dance, both young men and old together. For I will turn their mourning into joy, and will comfort them, and make them rejoice from their sorrow. And I will satisfy the priests with fatness and my people, shall be satisfied with my goodness, says God Most High. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word in Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.